Looking ahead now to a Paw Sox news conference, the team along with city and state officials will announce they are seeking a study of McCoy Stadium. And the results of the study could impact the team's future in Pawtucket. Eyewitness News reporter Todd Wallace has a preview live from the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom. And good morning once again. The News conference will take place at 11 o'clock this morning here at McCoy Stadium. The new feasibility study is going to take a look at what it will take to make McCoy Stadium more competitive with other AAA baseball stadiums. Now, the mayor of Pawtucket says he really hopes it's a transparent process that is beneficial for the city, the team, and of course, all of the fans. The city and team will work in conjunction with the state to put out a request for a proposal for the new feasibility study of the Pawtucket Stadium. Pawtucket Mayor Don Grebian tells us the estimated cost of that study is $100,000. That's an expense to be split three ways by the city, the state, and the team. Now, since abandoning any definitive plans to move to Providence, the team has said they will stay at McCoy through the end of their lease in the year 2020. Grebian says what they do after that will be a business decision based on the results of this feasibility study. He believes a firm will be chosen in August or September and given one year to complete the process to see what the stadium, uh, the McCoy Stadium needs are, both from a physical standpoint, an economic standpoint, and the value that it brings to the community. I believe at the end of the day, and I think they start to see that, that the best value is to reinvest in here. Grebian says the study will include all data collected since the last upgrades at McCoy. That was back in 1998. Coming up all new at 630, the late Paul Sox president Jim Skeffington often referred to another study that showed just how much it would take to renovate McCoy Stadium. We'll tell you what that figure is again coming up all new at 630. But for now, reporting live with the Blackstone Valley Mobile Newsroom, Todd Wallace, Eyewitness News.